Alrighty, seven fish. I just dropped off Multifarious Two Bugs as location, and they're going to be doing some fly fishing today. I am going to be doing some ice fishing. So we're about two miles, two miles away from each other. Don't have really good cell service, so hopefully we don't need to contact each other. I'm going to get on the ice. They're going to be on the streams or whatnot, creeks, however they do their thing with little long rods and little fly things they use. Anyways, hopefully some of us will catch some fish today. We will catch you on the lake. See you later. Bye. Well, we made it to the lake. It's a lot smaller than I thought. I can probably jump all around, so let's give it a whirl. I see some holes out there. I see some footprints. I see some ice holes, some water coming in right here. Should probably stay away from that, but other than that, it's beautiful. Okay, finally, after all that time, I got everything unloaded into my sled. I'm all by myself, but I still have a full sled. Got my Garmin, got the live scope. Got these guys, rod pods. We'll talk about those when we get on the ice. Got my camera bag, heater, everything in there, my coat on top. I'm gonna put my gloves on and uh, pull the sled out. So let's see, maybe I'll hook this up right here and pull the sled. Sure, I lock my car. That's it. Tell you what, where I come from, a cast like that catches you a fish, eh? Never mind, I don't come from there apparently. Alright. So the spot I was gonna to go to already has a couple spots where there had been huts. And unfortunately it sucks to see, but little cigarette spot butts and stuff, which is an indicator people were here for a while if they had to pull out a cigarette. Um, so gonna drill a hole here and see how it is. So I'm in 17 feet of water. There are no fish around me. So I'm marking one fish far away. Oh, never mind. I'm marking a lot. Ooh. De icing strategies. Put your rod tip under. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I just got a fish. Little baby crappie, oh shucks. But I saw on the live scope fish, all these fish I'll show you right now, but I was over 20 yards away and I saw a huge school of fish suspended off the bottom, but just tons, I'll show you on the screen. Like that. Turns out they are all like two inch baby crappies. I'm gonna let him go. But I saw all these fish far away, so I decided to come over here. I'm in 23 feet of water. All these fish are in 20, just suspended. And right now I'm looking out 70 feet in all directions, and you can see all these fish underneath me. Right there, I'm going towards the shore. You can see it's getting really steep. 
which means that's land or getting close to land as I pull out here's that huge school of fish I'm right next to they're all a little crappie it looks like they're all the way out so they're from there's just a huge group all in here all of little baby crappie I need to look for big fish though so I'm panning all directions I'm looking for structure right now. I don't see any, so I'm going to go to a different part of the lake. Yeah. I didn't epic. get I didn't get that on film. <laughs> like, haven't held a trout in a while. That's close though. Yeah, look at the par marks. That is so cool. Very cool. Do you want up close to your face? Do one of the like the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little perch in about the sixth spot I've been. And we're gonna cook trout right here. Yeah. There were a number of mishaps. Put my camera in the water. Wait, what? Real quick. But we got her out. I haven't run a stand on that. Uh, Isn't it water resistant to an extent or not? Yeah. Want to find out? Watch out for your foot. You don't always get the fire side of multifarious open, but here we have him. Hey, bugs. What are we doing here? <laughs> see, see we get we get all up in them and there in a trout hole, and you just get spread it around. It's a good stuff. You got the lemon pepper, the garlic, eh? What's this? First light. 
Not even close. Of course. But, you know, some people would take that trout and they'd drown it in Franks and then put it in some panko and throw it in a fryer. And those are the kind of people that you say don't have any culture. <laughs> you don't want to be hanging around those folks. <laughs> They'll steal your soul. <laughs> Of course, the 1986 original. Is that a secret bottle. ingredient or is that just for uh, yes, marinating the chef? Marinating the liver. So I forgot the butter. We got to put the margarine in there because that's what Casey's had at 7.30 in the morning. Is that as good as butter? You better believe it's not. <laughs> no chance, no chance. Everything's better with blue bonnet on it. Uh, blue bonnet on it. Now what was that stuff you just added? Tony Sacheries, Creole. Tony Cacheres. Ooh. Cacheres, Sacheries, you frickin' swine. Chacheri. Sachery. Sachery. We have the best cooking channel on YouTube. Eduardo Garcia would be proud. Ugh, keep what do you think? That <laughs> oh, that works. Now this is what you do. You always have a knife ready. And this ain't just a knife. That's your knife? Did you fillet your fish with that knife? I did. It's a scallion maker. I don't even know what that means, but that's what it is. <laughs> You got first trouts. How many how many trout do we have to do like this? <laughs> well, we got three, so we'll see if this actually works. There's a blunt end and a non-blunt end. Turn it sideways. There you go. That way. No, don't flip. Ah! I'm not doing that. What so kind of trout is this? This thing is so hard. Yeah, I remember this not being that hard. <laughs> have you done this before? Hey, Once. Yeah, that worked. It did, but look what it did to the fork. <laughs> Oh god, I needed a trip like this. So do we see how we're making gra I don't know why I'm talking like Bill the Backer fan. <laughs> Gravity works in your favor. These loaded with butter. If this was angled the other way, the butter would fall right out. That makes sense? So all the butter's coming back, going into the skin. It's good stuff. So we're gonna give them a few minutes on either side. I have absolutely no idea what temperature this is cooking at. I got nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and give them some time. These two will probably cook quicker than this one because he's bigger, I don't know. If things go as planned, we should be able to pull the entire skeleton out in one piece. That's how you know she's cooked. She does look all right. That one looks pretty dumb. This one here. Butter's all cooked out of there. Oh yeah, they're done. You gonna put that in your mouth? Cheap area called cheap meat, I tell ya. I don't think Zach's sold. They're not as good as fish bait. It Sour straws. Really it's, not as fishy as I would. it's really not that fishy. As I thought it would be. But mm, mm, that that's where it's at. Back here. Is that good? This stuff? is what you need. Give me some of this well done. Yeah, get it. Cooked. But not that. No, you want that piece this one. Oh, that's actually warm. My piece is full. Yeah, that's, that's a morsel. That's a morsel if I've ever seen one, I tell ya. Here's what you do after uh <coughs> Brian's ketchup cook. You get a granola bar and you don't die. You don't need to. You gotta be ready. Nice. They'll hit it going that fast? Oh yeah. They smash it. They don't hit it soft, they really crack it. His mouth just a tiny bit bigger than the spinner. Here you go. So run it quick. Run Will it they quick. be up here? Run at that speed. Yeah, there'll be some. I'd throw up there again. Maybe a little bit further left than I did. Within sight of people ice fishing.
recording. It wasn't recording. Now it's recording. Shucks. Whatever. Beautiful though. The they got a bluish halo around those red dots. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. Or brown trout. They're not stocked here. Uh, they were stocked a long time ago. They reproduce now. Nebraska didn't stock them for a long time. Since the 70s? Uh, I don't know what year it was. They're not recent at all. Nice rainbow. Is the camera on? Yep. Bigger than the ones I caught the other day. Ice fishing. This is probably my bigger, biggest one. It's cold. Yeah, of course it's cold. Covering your face up. Too deep? Oh, no. Here, can you get a That's picture cool. of it? Yeah, I done sunk him. <laughs> All right, how was the one day trip? Good. How was the one day trip? Uh, awesome. It was subpar. See you, folks. fish and food action. I have some wings. We got some chicken littles. Chicken little. Brian thing. didn't make these. We had to come here because I got food poisoning from Brian's trout. <laughs> Thanks for going with us, Brian. Not actually, but still. We'll catch you on the next trip.